So someone said to me the other day, Pete, oh yeah, fucking Pete wears no shirt now, but you just wait till winter rolls around. I'm like, the cunt lives in Harvey Bay. I bet he doesn't even own a fucking jumper. Like, yeah, you know, I've got one jumper and haven't worn it in <laughs> over 12 months. Fucking yeah. great weather here. So, I think as we're... people watch this, they think Pete's only wearing no shirt, but he's actually naked. <laughs> Comfy when you're naked. <laughs> Maybe we can give that as a prize, as a full full length photo of Pete, rather than nah. just chest up. I actually wear full suit pants and dress shoes underneath the counter. Uh, yeah, you should do that once and then walk up and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies. You're about to hear some dirty, dirty talk. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that one. That's one of the better ones, Pete. Better one, I reckon. Yeah. Maybe I'll get them on the spot more often. <laughs> <laughs> good day, good day. And how are you going? Welcome to the Medicine and Sex Podcast. I'm your host, Chief Engineer Sambo. And I'm joined by Derekman, General So, and CRO, CJ Butterman. And the pump man, Mr. Pete. What are we, fellas? Um, A deep water oil crew. Fucking nailed it, Pete. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Derrickman runs the pump room. CRO is control room operator, obviously, for CJ. And the pump man is uh, assisted Derrickman in the pump room, but pump man just sounded good. I wanted to call you pump man, Pete. (laughs) Pump man. Pump man, Pete. Yeah, so welcome, guys. This is the Matter Than Sex podcast, Chicken Derby edition. We've got some awesome stuff for you again today. Uh, Beer of the Week, Shitbird, Shitbird Misfits Cup. Uh, we got Balkansky on as Chicken Derby champion. Uh, we've got Drop Dude coming on as a guest after that. We'll roll through CD News, ABC News, quick fire questions. And then that's the end of part one. So we've got a beer of the week this fellas. This week, fellas. What are we what are we drinking? What do you got there, General? Alton Dry. Alton Dry. Stable. Stable what in you, these parts. You you get on the cart and dries a bit. Uh yeah, yeah. I'll drink a beer. Beer's beer, right? Doesn't They're pretty me, heavy. But cart and dries are pretty good. They're, They're uh, pretty pretty heavy for uh, a beer? No, I really do like a one point. 1.2s. I mean, they're heavy for Queensland. We've oh, been through oh, this so before, but I'm that's, that's very, that's aggressively mediocre for New South Wales. Uh, uh, what do you reckon, Pete? Honestly, not a bad beer. Um, honestly, it's one of the few beers I drink other than summer when then summers aren't available. So I give it eight and a half. The old man used to drink Carlton Drys, but now he drinks those fucking orange fucking flavoured cunts. Tastes like a fucking soft drink. Uh, I reckon it's all right, Terry, but I'll go a seven. What do you got, General? 7.5. And CJ? Yeah, I'm about a seven as well, man. I prefer a Colton draft. We need some fucking shit beers on here. We've got to have <laughs> we got to have fucking Guinness because we all fucking love beer too much and we're all rating at fucking high levels. So Guinness is next. What do you reckon? We'll fucking dive into the deep world of chewing your beers. I'm not available for next week's podcast. <laughs> I'm keen to give it a go. I'm just going to empty a can of Guinness out and refill it with Coke, I reckon. <laughs> Bit of Coke mixed with milk. Yeah. Uh, uh, Shipbirds with its cup. Um, we just entered a race just before. So there might be a few spots left if you can fucking fill it up for us and we'll watch it at the end. It's run already, mate. Oh, it's already run. You've, oh, you've already fucked done. I haven't looked. I haven't looked. Oh, I was, just, come I was on. just looking at other races to answer before we started this, you know. Yeah, Always we'll, get, we'll get to the end and general guys. I'll uh, put 20 bucks on this third boys. <laughs> who, who wants it? <laughs> uh, let's just roll straight into Chicken Derby Champion, fellas. We've got uh, Balkansky coming on. How you going, Balk? Good, fellas. How are you? Yeah, Balk. Good to be man. here. So uh, you been studying up, brother, or 
Of course, of course. I don't believe the fucking <laughs> word of it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Five out of ten. <laughs> we've got 10 questions here for you, mate. Have you got the Where's Rusty picture up? Yeah, we'll get it up. So you've got two minutes. The first five questions are easy and the second five are hard. And finding the items I want you to find in the Where's Rusty picture is next to impossible. So fucking good luck. <laughs> are you ready to go, mate? Yeah, ready when you are. Okay, so in the Where's Rusty picture, you need to find a jar of Vegemite and a boomerang you got that jar of vegemite boomerang two great aussie things right i cj start that clock man and i'll run into this first one right about what's the what's the longest distance a chicken can run 200 meters how many chickens compete in each race 12. what body is uncommon for a dork. Orange wheel. Uh, English mustard. What talent is exclusive to hens? Blue egg. How many black chickens are there? 100. Right, are they getting a bit harder? Black. How many different colour combs are there excluding robots? We're going to go with 10. Fuck, 11, bro. <sighs> <laughs> uh, how many chickens have beak rings 250 uh double that 500 how many chickens have candy comb and waddle oh 750 oh you know that you oh, love candy no, no, <laughs> who invented the growth potion oh fucking doctor I don't know, chicken wings. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Dr. Drew. Last one, mate. Which is the fastest terrain? Surely track, right? Track it is. You've got 35 seconds left to find those items. All right, let's fucking go. Wait, it's, it's, just... it's fucking Whoa. hard, bro. Um, Did you mean to say English mustard was the rare thing? Because orange will is the rare one for dorks. Oh, yeah, it is. And I just found Vegemite underneath the tree with the koala <laughs> and the blue boomerang in the middle. Let's go. Oh, he's fucking got it. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Time to spare. Bro, you fucking nailed it. That's right up there. That's right up there. Uh, so what did you get? One, two. Uh, he got the uncommon for door. Oh, the yeah, yeah. Is wrong. Yeah. I didn't do these, CJ did these, so I can blame him. <laughs> yeah, my bad, my bad. We'll give you that point. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, and the two. That's fucking up there, bro. Fucking well done. No, no, no. Well yeah. <laughs> He's got no, the. I did, I did He's... look at the aura, how many candy cones there were. I did look at that one. <laughs> He's got the fucking GitHub tutorial open going. Yeah, 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 shit, yeah, fucking yeah. finger in it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're a fucking legend, Bark. Everything you do, you're fucking awesome in this community. You fucking put out, man. You've got some fucking good chickens. How's transaction confirmed going? She's, she's doing all right. We're getting there. We're getting there. But uh, I'll see you in the top 10. Only uh, only if it's not in a race with Steel Springs, eh? Yeah, I just got to make sure I'm not in with that gun. <laughs> uh, but, uh, love... I appreciate all you fellas do and you make it such a good community. So it's been a pleasure. Uh, cool, man. Thank you very much. We fucking, we try really hard and it's comments like that that make it all worthwhile, bro. Too easy, too easy. Cheers, fellas. Thanks, thanks for Cheers, coming mate. on, man. Cheers. Thanks. See you, bro. Cheers, bro. Bye. Bye. Yeah, thanks, Bark. That was fucking awesome, mate. Um, We'll just roll in straight into our next guest here, um, the dude from D3. Um, and then we can talk about some CD news. How you going, dude? What's happening, guys? Uh, fucking, yeah, you know, racing fucking chickens in this tourney, trying to get a fucking top 10 spot, but not doing great. <laughs> I'm trying to get like top 200 myself. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe i should lower my expectations a bit and go go for top 200 that sounds like a pretty achievable thing to do 
Right, what right, time let's talk. is it where you are, dude? What's what time are you rocking? Uh, let's see. Seven fifteen in the morning. Oh, fucking right. nice effort, man. General doesn't even wake up Thank before you. fucking nine o'clock usually. Nine? Fuck me. Nine. But you get me on a work day. <laughs> CD News guys, the ten K tawny. What do we all think? What are you what are you running, Pete? Are you you gonna have a chop at some classes or what? Uh trying to, but I feel like I've had I had I feel like I had chickens dialed in and as soon as this tournament started, they started going shit at what I had them dialed in previously. And I've all had on, to adjust on the run. All on coolers, you reckon? Well, they're on coolers, but I don't know. I fa- actually I feel like I found out a couple of chickens where they run better now, I reckon. Which just by luck. It was the race before the tournament started. I'm like, oh, that's interesting that it won on that. I was trying to declass it actually. You gotta think in this tourney too that there's gotta be a heap better chickens running. Like people are putting they're being more specific now, they're not fucking FDLR seeing. They're fucking yeah. being a lot more specific with their chickens. So if you're having a good chicken in this tourney, it means your chicken's pretty fucking good, I reckon. Great. I was I was super lucky with Steel Springs, like Steel Springs is my best shot, really. Um, but the day before the tournament, it lost a race and dropped down into the top of B class. So I won the first race in B class, so it put me right at the bottom, which is just fucking magic, you know. Well, I know a lot of people were trying to D class. Did you try to D class, General? No, oh, mate. <laughs> I actually did not um, because my my natural U shaped chicken was on a heater, so it had just it had already declassed. It was on its way back up. The start of the tournament rolls around and it starts to go back down again. So it's got no fucking shot. Like, <laughs> no shot. Um, which is all right, you know. I'm, I'm okay with not winning some uh, well, some cool little uh, wearable NFTs. Um, if I, I still see. get if I still get to keep my chicken that's making me good money. I seen uh, butter up and, there, mate. And I've no, seen that's butter. exactly what I was about to say. Then I had this other chicken that was it was it was not bad, but it definitely wasn't. I didn't think it was going to go anywhere, and it just fucking came out of nowhere. But it's it's died in the ass too. So we'll see how it ends up. I think maybe top ten is achievable. At first, I was like, pack it up, number one, give me the trophy now. I'm taking that skateboard home. Message to Apex, hey Apex, mate. Here's my address. Just send it all through. Don't even fucking, don't even, don't even run the rest of it. And yeah, nah, I fucked up. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. That is uh, Orange Will, is it? Yeah. Looks like butter chicken. It does. That's mm. the name. And you know, butter for luck. You know. Yeah, hey, yeah. Got to get that fucking luck. Seems to be seems to be pretty lucky right now. What about um, you, Dad? What are you What are you running in the tourney? Me. <laughs> uh, I got uh, a couple birds that are C class, D class that probably should just get uh, D class back down to D. Oh man, I think I might have just lost you guys. Oh, uh, we can still hear you and say yeah, yeah. Something. All right, but uh, yeah, I got a uh, couple C class, couple D class, Leighton, Library Lush, and then uh, Count Cluckula's uh, not too bad. But uh, I got to be selective because I was running with very little ETH in my wallet and uh, had to be uh, those dollar races or $2 races. Mate, yeah. that Cerami you bought will get you getting to fucking B and A class with it? I still got two chick races to go on it. So you've got eight days left in the tourney, mate. You've got plenty of time. Yeah. So it was 60. I'll probably figure out it's. Uh, uh, class and do some free runs for a while and figure it out yeah hoping there's uh kind of like me that you put in an e and f class really soon just so <laughs> i've got to check it's a fucking winning of you How is, uh, 20 uh perfection so yeah yeah, yeah. another one there. uh the race volumes kicked up fellas the Tawny sort of pushed people into racing. What do we see? Is it going to slow down towards the end of the tawny? Or I know there's some people, down, some people doing some defense though. Like yeah. once you get once you get your chick through the thirty, it's fucking try to stop fucking the big dogs getting the wins. Yeah, <laughs> and also right now there's it, there's a lot of chickens that have hit. My, I'm saying this from experience that have hit that like 
20 race mark, early 20 race mark, and they've gone, fuck, I've got X amount of races left and I'm done in the tourney. So mm. I think they've slowed down now. Once I get through my 30 races, on it's only on one chicken that I'm doing that for. Everything else I'm still fucking fucked out of. Let's race all the cunts. <laughs> um, but as soon as that hits 30, I'm just DJ and straight back in. So I think we'll see another bit of a pickup. Once people roll through, then finish off, they got nothing else to do. So they just got to race again. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. fuck, like I don't have to have my perfect terrain and distance preference. I'm happy to throw it in something that it, it just has fun in, you know, keep its legs nice and warm. FDLRC, bro. Yeah, bro. You know what's the best thing about why? FDLRC works so good is when you ask people to throw a chicken in and they're like, oh, I don't have one that suits that. You just go, FDLRC, man. And then it like pushes them, <laughs> pushes them and they feel bad. Yeah. So really you just started a movement to peer pressure. Yeah. It's it just a, into it's getting you races that you want done. Yeah. Built. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> what oh, about wait. you, Pete? Are you, are you going to run some defense or what? Yeah. Oh, honestly, to tell you the truth, I just want to start. I've been sort of running them while, while I was running them prior to the tournament because I sort of had them, well, I thought I had them tuned in. And now, I've, like, I, ha- I got one sitting in seventh place in A class at the moment and she's got two races left. And I can't get to first, but if she wins both, she'll go to second. Um, but she was killer on dirt. And then all of a sudden, the race before the tournament started, I was trying to declass her. And she won that race. And I'm like, fuck, maybe she's good at other shit. So I started racing her in on that other shit in this tournament. And she's been fucking killing it. So yeah. you raced her on that stuff before? No. Every hundred yeah. meter she's hundred meters, mate. Any hundred meter track, she's fucking killing it on. I find a bit of that where I'm finding that it's a few tracks of a certain distance. And then sometimes a little bit either side, but I've got like four distances at uh, 160 with steel springs that are like good, like a below above average times, like mm. well, below average times, I guess you say, but better than average where I reckon it's a little bit like that. They tend to do a few at a distance, but I don't know, any time will tell. I'm only fucking... I felt- t- I, I 100% agreed. And then I found recently my first terrain preference heavy chicken. But, but I've got a train, pre- I found loves, a train preference just heavy chicken. fucking chicken. loves road, man. Like I, anything on road, it just fucking kills it. There's only one distance on road that has less than a 50% podium rate. Is that the like, one that you were just saying just before this podcast started? You said, oh, get in this $15 road, Grace. Did you put it in? No, that? no, 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 no. Different, <laughs> different. <laughs> Different class, different class. But if it was got, up in that class, it's that good that I would have still chucked it in there and had a very good crack. The general's fucking sneaky like that. Fucking puts all these good chooks in and goes, oh, yeah, guys, I'm just trying to do class. Jump in this race. No, no, throw, no, no. throw your good birds in. No, no, no. I'll say, hey, you guys, jump in this $15 race and want some big action. You're going to lose. I'll tell you straight up. <laughs> Uh, and then you end up coming like 11th or 12th and people go, I thought he was going to fucking win, cunt. Yeah, that does happen a lot. Yeah. yeah. FDLRC. FDLRC. It's so the, uh, you go, Pete. Uh, FDLRC is a good excuse for when your chickens do go shit, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, just, chuck, just chucking it in. FDLRC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we had uh, 274 races the week prior to the tournament and then 549 since the tournament starts. So it's nearly doubled in less than a week, which is, um, it's a fucking good tick up. But like you said, we're seeing a bit of a slowdown now, which is natural, like it's going to happen. But um, I can see these tournaments being a pretty cool thing in the future, especially if they change it up a bit and it's not just like winners and you can have like each end tournaments and different fucking Shitbirds cups and like dog tournaments, fucking lack tournaments, fucking Sarama tournaments. Like, just get that little bit of fucking chance for everyone to have a fucking win, you know? Where yeah. awesome, awesome work, I reckon. Uh, what are you hunting for? Wearables, the skateboard. What prizes do you want, General? I just want the skateboard, man. DJ's got two. You can get one off him. 
<laughs> no, I, uh, I, it would be a good flex to have the biking hat, but I don't think that I'm going to get there now. Uh, I think just just top 10 is good. It's good flex. Inaugural Cup, Chicken Derby Tournament, fucking just to say you've got the top, one of the 10 best chickens in that class. It's pretty good. Uh, it also puts your chicken on the map a bit, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like 100%. get a bit, get a bit of that notoriety. What about you, dude? What what's what prize are you hunting for? If you had to pick a prize out of the lot, what what do you want? They do a prize for top fifty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anything you say, just whatever, just fucking send me some prizes, motherfuckers. <laughs> take a bird, I'll take. I don't care. Give me a uh, rollerblade. I don't care. I don't even think I have rollerblades, so that'll work out. <laughs> yeah, nice. Rollerblades could be good too. Hit paid up. He's got all the rollerblades. Oh, fucking heaps of rollerblades. <laughs> but I don't sell chicken, so it doesn't count. <laughs> talent animation. What did you reckon of this, dude? Did you uh, did you see the blue rooster talent anim- uh, animation in the uh, Discord this week? Uh, don't know if I did or not. I think I made. You can see oh, it now. Cool. Oh yeah, that's nice. Holy <sighs> moly! That was- moving i hated how they didn't see it go over the finish line i want to see it go over the fish line like that you know and how yeah. far was so, the bird on the screen did use i actually went back and i'm like oh i wonder how far those flags are apart and then i went through and looked at a race to see how many flags are in between every 10 meters and there's mm-hmm. about seven to seven and a half and then i counted oh. the flags on the thing to see how far it went uh how far did it go didn't go didn't go as far it looked like it went a lot further than it did but it went about 10 meters look if your fucking chicken does that you can't be fucking disappointed like you passing fucking multiple chickens if you're at the back and if you're at the front no one's fucking catching you yeah but sambo we see that happen in in races already maybe Mm, maybe 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 blue rooster's already in Mm, maybe it is, mate. It, maybe it is, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I did actually when I first seen that. I'm like, I've seen that during a race before. Without <laughs> <thinking about it." laughs> so uh, Apex said, we can probably. This is exact quote. We can probably do around three to four talents every two days. What does that tell you, Pete? Uh, talents in two weeks. That's what I thought. Do you think it'll happen? No. No. What's your what's your time frame? You got you're good on these time frames? Four weeks. Four, you reckon? Four weeks from the this Monday tomorrow. Well, wherever you, yeah. Do you think I'll ask dude this? Do you think that the talents are gonna just improve on your chicken? So if you've got a if you've got a good chicken now, um, and it's got a above common talent it's got to make it a better a better chook but a common talent doesn't do much what's, well, your, what's your thoughts i hope so because i you know when i was looking for birds i was looking for talents too so you know i wasn't necessarily looking on the high end of uh, perfection i was more looking on the uh little more uncommon or better traits for the talents just because you know, might as well. They were cheap too. They were cheap at the time, man. Like they're still cheap. Oh, have, yeah. they, have they ticked up a bit? Has anyone seen since since that we've got maybe a time frame now? No. Prices, yeah. Seen. No, mm. definitely not. So I do them, reckon. Get them. I reckon you're uncommon and all that kind of talents. I reckon it's different now. So when they originally planned out Chicken Derby, they had their uncommon talent. They common talents, uncommon, rare, very rare. And that was the order that they were going to be preferenced in. But since they've done their animations, they've realized that they can't get certain animations in certain things and they don't affect as much as they... So this is, I reckon, if you're going to go out and buy chickens, buy rollerblades because they've got a low <laughs> set-off rate and when it sets off, it's going to win. Is and that because you've got fucking 40 no, of them? <laughs> I, I don't... It's not just because i got a heap of them, but I reckon it's on a few of them because that because they've done the animations after the fact, that's why they've had to give it a low set off rate. And if it's got a low set off rate like a black hole on that, it's got to have a, a crazy effect on it. 
mm. and you're going to win. So I, I agree. But do you think they wouldn't have still balanced the the tiers? So no. Rollerblades is obviously the best. Well, not obviously, but potentially the best in the common tier because it yeah. has the lowest the lowest frequency. But then there's still going to be an uptick in the uncommons and then a further uptick into rare and super rare. No. And that's how that they've used the, the frequencies to balance out within their own tier. But the tiers still count because otherwise... You know, I, helicopter should be better than rollerblades. I, I understand what you're saying, General, but in really simple terms, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, like you, then. <laughs> tell me more, Pete. Oh, all I'm saying is go out there, buy some rollerblades, and win some races. So, we're going to have a next uh, segment on the next pod where Pete's going to run it and it's going to be called Why General's Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> General comes up with an idea and Pete rebuts it. How's that sound? Wait, all I have to do is say, it doesn't you're fucking wrong. It. He, just says, <laughs> he just says, no, not how it works. Uh, uh, I know. I've been, Wait, talking, I've been talking to Apex. He told me. Exactly. He told me. Yeah, then that's, I can't <laughs> argue with that, Pete. Uh, um, chicken renting in the dev vlog. We all gonna rent our chickens out. What what's if you had the option, are you gonna rent a chicken out, dude, or are you gonna keep them for yourself? Or what what's your what's your play? Uh I like the uh the percentage uh back option. They they showed the two options. I like that one a little bit better, uh, as opposed to just to charge them as even as a user, you know, like if I'm one renting, I'd rather pay it that way than to uh pay it the first way. Especially if it's a good chookie running out too, it should be a winner and should fucking as long as people run them in the right, in the right thing. But people aren't going to run them in the wrong shit and just lose money over and over as no. well. Like, and they're renting a chicken to get a good chicken to race a good chicken, so they're not going to sandbag it. Like, uh, except if you rent me your chicken, Pete, I'd quite happily spend a hundred bucks to ruin its record. <laughs> Same. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. right. Let's know. let's all throw in and fucking rent one of Pete's chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, what's your best chicken called? What's my best chicken? Strap yourself in, mate. We want to rent that one. I see you got a first and second, Pete, the other day. I did. I did. Which yeah, which it, jokes were they? It was strap yourself in and feel the G's. <laughs> uh, I was fucking waiting for it, eh? I, I'm like, I can't wait to breed them. Are you, did you th keep throwing them in the same race so you could fucking get that fucking combo? No. The only reason why it happened is, is because just before the tournament found out, like, Feel the G's has always been good at hundreds. Strap Yourself In has always been good at dirts. But I only found out Strap Yourself In was good at hundreds the race before the tournament. So I started throwing her in more hundreds. It's risky. It was risky, but fucking paid off. Yeah, it's like what seventh you said. Seventh. Yeah, but two races, so oh, not expecting high hopes. But it's won its last two, so it's got two to go. Didn't Chicken Eleven win its last five? Oh, it won five in a row there, like from twenty-one to twenty-six or something. I think ah, that'd be a good fucking finish if you could finish like that, eh? Yeah. What but about you, ZJ? Hoping. What? A... Sorry, General, you go. I was just going to say, there's still hope for us. You know, could win five in a row. Yeah, yeah. And Steel Springs is gonna, mate. Yeah. What about you, CJ? You renting yours out, or they're all your chickens? No other cunt can touch them. Get your hands off my fucking chickens. <laughs> uh, nobody's touching my lady. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, but to be honest, I haven't put much thought into it yet, man. Um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how. It goes. Depending on prices and everything too. Yeah, like, yeah. It's got to be. It's got to be worth you all. Yeah. I mean. It's good that they're they're talking about these things, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna wait for more details before I decide. Um, go, mate. I just like the idea of, especially with the splitting profits, um, you could find yourself a trustworthy scholar that is on the other side of the world to you and run your chicken twenty four seven. Mm, I like that. 
So, you know, I go to work for eight hours during the day. I sleep for eight hours during the day. Now, don't get me wrong. Hopefully my boss isn't watching this. (laughs) 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 I'll run my chickens while I'm at work. Like, (laughs) it happens. But not, I can't continually be looking at my phone to make sure when shit pops up, I can be there. Um, So having someone that you can say, well, okay, here you go. Profit split, 50-50. You know where it needs to run. It gives you a steady passive income too. And you can see the stats on this chicken. You put in X amount of dollars over a long enough time, it gives you more than that back. Like, let's split that for this Mm -hmm. period of time. So I'm hoping that with that option, it can be short rentals um, or I'd even like a, you know, a continual rental, but at certain times of the day. Do you think uh, they're going to make it customizable? Like, I think a cool idea could be like, righto, who wants my fucking chicken? You can have it uh, for 50% or 70% or 60% or whatever. Like, you set the parameters. Yeah, goes I up into the marketplace. Yeah, I think that's what they were saying when you said it could be set at a percentage and you get yeah. to choose the percentage. Yeah. And then if people take it or leave it. Yeah. Sorry, I just noticed something. Um, we have a we have a live chat. Today. I was just, just gonna fucking say the same thing. <laughs> I looked at myself. What the fuck is this? People fucking is talking over here. CJ telling us something we're supposed to know. Oh wow. <laughs> uh, <hello. laughs> yeah, get out, guys. Who so we got? Ariad, Merck, Sydney Cove. Yeah, get out, guys. Thanks for thanks for dropping in. We dropped use this uh, secret <laughs> secret link in the in the ABC Discord. So if if you're hanging around for the next race, we might do the same thing for you as well. Um, sketch, uh, race viewer first. Dude, you want to, this is, it's absolutely fucking brilliant what you've done, mate. You and your team have done. This fucking race viewer is like, in general, will fucking back me on this because he's an iPhone user that can't watch fucking races on his phone, but he can watch them on a Twitch now, which what you've done, so... You want to just explain what you've done with the race viewer and um, uh, yeah, plans you got going forward? Well, um, we're working with uh, the people at uh, Techfully Made who are uh, helping us out. And uh, like, I don't know, I've just basically quick assembled my team that uh, wanted to, we all kind of had the same goals and ideals in our heads about what we're doing and they've just taken drive and produced ridiculous amounts of greatness smashed it out of the park man absolutely fucking smashed it out of the park eh? i love the fucking names behind the chickens it's unreal and then um yeah on on the left there uh you want to explain that to us uh, you're talking about uh, on our on the left. That's the uh, the races coming up, uh, either that are filled or I think they do uh, need to be filled as well. Yeah, so, hell yeah. Uh, mm. Looking to get in a race. They got all the information there. I love so, it. I popped up and I went, oh shit, ten of twelve. Better go and get in that race. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's nice for that for sure. And other people are seeing that too, Pete. So it should. Hopefully, it should make races feel those races on the side feel a little bit quicker. You know, what yeah. races? What races are available now? <laughs> fuck off, anything, God, You're doing you're doing a fucking C- podcast. Anything in C class road? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so mate. If you think that I haven't been checking my phone during this thing? I've got something to tell you. <laughs> yeah, I fucking know. You fucking <laughs> check your phone at work. Why wouldn't you check your phone at this work? It's just, yeah. it's just, it's all day, mate. Yeah. It's a disease. You need a, you need a chicken racing manager for you that can, uh, that can do it for you. That's exactly Quite what handy. I need. Mm. I'll, I'll split them the profits. Will you? I'll be your racing manager then. Sign me up. <laughs> Sign me up. You don't get 50. All I want is uh, butter and 8448. I'll have those two. No, nah, but I'll do your deal. You can, them, you can have them both, but it's going to cost you something. It's just a small amount. Your springs. 
Five eighths. <laughs> How about <laughs> two blowjobs and a handy? I'm listening. Let's let's continue this off screen. I'll come around tomorrow night. I'll come see you. Thank you. Uh, Apex dropped some sketches in the main. Can we uh, can we bring those up, CJ, and have a look? Did you see these boys? What a what's it all about? Um, it's uh, CJ. I'll bring him up here when he's done fucking around. Sorry, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's what is this? What it's just like. It's just throwing a fucking spanner in my head thinking, is this a fucking hint? There's hints in here. There's, there's fucking hints in there. There's got what do you reckon? Hints. What do you reckon, CJ? Yeah, I mean, there's hints all over, like the little coin for, you know, we've got like a, a dollar coin swapping for a, a chicken derby coin. So, I mean, that's the hint of, of the token is still in the works, I think. Um, and then number seven there. It's interesting. It, it's a little chicken carrying the coin on sort of stepping stones, which to me looks like play to earn kind of maybe a hint at that. Um, but then the rest are just kind of fucking ridiculous, right? Um, Muscular got, chicken down there at nine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course, the stone chicken as well. It's all good fun. <laughs> Did Apex draw these, you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. They're pretty good. That like key, them. that key that's hatching from the egg. I did see him say that that was the key to the metaverse. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe got, yeah. Me, got me thinking. Random, random hatching out of when you breed two ceramas together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we just lost the dude. Yeah. Uh, that's no, right. He's back, He's back in. He's back in. Um. I'm in my garage. I don't know what the hell happened. Uh, no, nah, man. It sounds like fucking Australian internet. The last fucking three podcasts we've done, it's just cut out like a fucking five minute section for no fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether you've noticed, but uh, last podcast, it was like, oh, what do we think of this beer? And then CJ is the only one that answers. So, because we just <laughs> lost it. It just fucking goes into the fucking ecosphere somewhere. It just cuts that fucking five minute section out. Well, now he's got uh, the live stream uh, chat on there, so you guys can, uh, if somebody uh, lets you know. Yeah, and I, uh, I got a second recording going now as a backup too. So, oh, there you yeah, go. That's pretty handy. Prepare your shit. Yeah. Right, next next episode we'll have a third recording going. Yeah, Just everyone do it. That recording fucks <laughs> up. Everyone's got to record it on their own <laughs> monitors, right? Yeah. Move. Uh, ABC News, guys. You wanna you wanna talk about our mega giveaway, General? Oh, man, you're putting a lot on me, a lot of me today. It's because you never fucking do anything. I'm trying to get you a bit of fucking airtime, mate. You didn't even you didn't send me the fucking roast, and then you're just like, oh, by the way, General's just gonna read you guys the roast. I'm like, oh. uh, yeah, okay, I dropped looks, you, I dropped you in that a bit. Looks like General's gonna tell you guys about the roast. Fuck yeah! <laughs> and then he's super scared, excited, scanning ahead, going, okay, what's this shit? Oh, yeah, so uh, this means... <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what was going on, except your computer was fucking not giving me that clear of a of a run-through of your screen. <laughs> so then I'm, like, scrambling up on my phone, trying to read. <sighs> uh, okay, giveaway, mega giveaway. Um, initially, this started with three items that we were giving away, and then we just thought, you know what, fuck it, let's double down. So what's better than three? D- double down, you mean... Twenty uh, quint- quintuple down. Yeah. Uh, I can't do the maths, man. Yeah. Um, we're, we're giving away twenty things. That's good enough to know. Um, gutter juice is the the top prize, and it's for a pigeon, which you can put in the clone machine Thursday, well the twenty eighth, um, which for us is Friday. Um, America's Thursday. I think it's normally it's about eight p.m. EST. It's about ten a.m. AEST, um, they're gonna look so good. Hey, revealed his rap today. Mm. Uh, I tried to record it so I could put it on here, and failed miserably. Fucking fuck not with tech savvy, can't say. Fucking, fucking really. all over it. We're fucking all over it. <laughs> uh, uh, we'll show you. I think you've got a picture of uh, that rat. We'll show you later, but. Yeah, basically 20 fucking prizes, cunts. Like, fucking get in. 
I know it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a big giveaway. That's why we sort of upped it to twenty prizes. Like, um, there's gonna be a lot of people entered. If you support all our socials, um, you get an entry for everyone. So just subscribe to the YouTube if you're already in the Discord. Subscribe to the website. Um, do the Twitter thing, like, share, fucking tag two mates. Uh, four Isn't, days left. Yeah. Four days left. Four or five days five, ish. Five, yeah. Five ish. Yeah. Five ish. Yeah. Uh, but it's not just the, the pigeon juice either. Like, there's a chicken in there. There's two NEFTs, which is just your ticket to the whole ABC metaverse. Uh, we're not making a metaverse. So <laughs> don't get that wrong. Uh, we got Wicked Cranium in there as well. So, JST gave us that shit. one. Cheers yeah. to fucking JST. He's a fucking legend. Thank you, JST. Um, but there's just good shit all the way down to, you know, ticket stubs, which just get you into some sick giveaways. I think the last giveaway that you need to burn a ticket stub for, there's what, fucking like 10 cups? 10, in. yeah. Pretty, yeah. pretty good odds. So get out yeah. there. Like, and smash like and subscribe. Yeah. But it's easy. It's fucking easy, cunts. Like, it, does, it, it takes you five minutes if you. Oh, move. there he is. Yeah. Marat. That's the. Oh, Pete, uh, that looks sick. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Dambo, why'd you tell me it looks shit? The hat looks shit. The hat looks shit. <laughs> Without the hat, it'd be fucking real good. No, me, and man, Pete, I like the hat. me and Pete are brothers, eh? Fucking hat looks shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I really like the fur on it, Pete. I think that's some one of the better fur. I love like, the I love the dice around his on his chain too. Yeah, yeah. that's good. And you got the gang bulletproof vest. Yeah. Might might help you out in the play to earn game. Mm. Maybe. So that's you won't be getting a rat, but uh you'll get something like looks similar to that, but a pigeon. Uh, we've got a pigeon to reveal too, Pete. Yeah, we're gonna sew them together and make a pigeon rat. Yes. <laughs> so if anyone out there is a little bit arty, we need uh as soon as we reveal the pigeon, hit us up and get us get us a pigeon rat going. It's going as my profile picture straight away. Yeah, an NFT seamstress we need. I <laughs> uh, love it. So that's 28th of April, um, US time, which is, yeah, 29th, the morning of the 29th Australian time. We will definitely tell you beforehand, probably every single day beforehand. Yeah. You won't we, miss it. The idea, guys, is like, if we can get people from other projects to get in our Discord, not pumping our own bags, but our Discord's fucking awesome. We give away heaps of shit. Like, it's as simple as it fucking is. We give away heaps of fucking shit. So if we can get them across and they can go, oh, this community is pretty cool. Fucking they give away a heap of shit. They can either win a chicken and they can fucking talk to us and fucking we can coach them into buying a chicken and we can coach them into where to run that chicken. And then we can turn these users from other projects into fucking chicken heads and fucking pump CD to the moon. So that's, that's what we're trying to do. So even though it's... It's a backwards thought for you guys to share it because you're like, fuck, I'm not sharing that because that's more entries for other cunts to get and I'll fucking have less entries. Like, that's not what we're, we're about. We want to fuck it. We want to pump CD to the moon and this is one way we can sort of start doing that. So like, share, fucking share it every day. As soon as you see we fucking post, share it, hit those emojis, fucking do everything you can and let's get a fucking bulk amount of people across to know what chickens are. Hopefully, hopefully, but got a gang, got a gang that seemed like a fucking good community over there. They're fucking diamond hand holders, man. So if we can get some of them across, like, and they're they're fucking active they, on Twitter too. They blow Twitter up like, like you would never believe, man. And it's so impressive. And it's like I know Fledge has been talking about it a lot. Like him and Ken Street had the the whole Twitter giveaway and things for the CD community to start pushing Twitter and like pushing the community as this one entity, like strength to get people out there. And I've never seen it before and fuck the gutter does it. And it's like, I, like, I want CD to do that too. Like, I know it's inspired me to get out there and start like, you know, reposting people's shit, commenting on stuff, even just a like, like the it's, love heart. It's just hit the love heart on the way past. Like, I mean, don't do more than that. But just a like fucking helps sometimes. But like, Massive. yeah, it's it's fucking nuts, and we need to start doing it too. Those cunts gave me like 180 followers in less than 24 hours, just from having a profile picture, yeah, and interacting with their community a little bit. 
and I didn't do that to try and get this. Like I did it because I was like, well, fuck, let's see what this is all about. But it's it just was eye opening to go right. This is how we need to do it for CD as well, and it works. It fucking works. And what's better than throwing a fucking cat amongst the fucking chickens, man? <laughs> 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 that's a fucking bad joke i'm turning into you pete <laughs> i liked it i really liked it i'm like i was just thinking was it pre-thought of or did he just think of that on the spot i just thought of it fucking right there i liked it <laughs> i knew he said pigeons though i knew he fucking said pigeons cj just bought a cat um just before this it was a cat what did you buy cj no no uh i bought a rat a rat Got a rat. Yeah. so i just thought of this too you know why cj just bought a rat don't bring it up. So we can say fucking <laughs> gang gang again. <laughs> CJ was gutless. And now we can say gang gang again. Yeah, gang gang, motherfuckers. <laughs> so oh, it's good, man. Yeah, it's into good. that competition, guys. And then you can say gang gang with the rest of us. Everyone say it together. Are you ready? Gang <laughs> gang, gang, gang. Motherfucker. <laughs> gang, gang, gang. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, last ABC news we've got uh, seasonal tawny for neft holders. If you don't have a neft yet, go fucking buy one because you're missing out. Every day you miss out. Every day you leave it longer, you miss out on more and more shit. I'm just, I'm just fucking throwing shit left, right, and center at these neft holders. Fucking airdrops, fucking tawnies, fucking heaps of shit. So if you buy it now, it's it fucking pays for itself very fucking quickly. Um, if you get one in the next two days, um, you're gonna get an airdrop. Um, another airdrop. People have already got five. The pe- the current holders have already got five ticket stubs. Um, we're about to drop an even more special airdrop for you too. So buy it in the next couple of days. We've got so much um, utility with the NF- NEFT, but we just can't advertise a lot of it yet before we know some more CD mechanics. So we haven't talked about breeding at all. It's because... We don't want to give you false, false hope and promise something that we can't provide. We're not about that. We're we're straight up, and we have to wait for that CD news to before we can give you our breeding mechanics. But I'll just let you know what we're thinking of is fucking out of this world. It's out of this fucking world. So get one now. You won't be disappointed. When you're just sure? about to buy, or you you're just thinking about buying, just think like ABCs never let you down. Just, just buy it, and never will, never will. Let's say it, fucking just never will. It's, it's simple. Yeah, and if you do buy one, get the lowest number of feathers you can in the picture of the NFT, not on the number of the NFT in the actual picture. You got to get the lowest number of feathers you can. It's uh, it's going to be well worthwhile. So yeah, seasonal tourney for those neft holders. We're going to run it in um three different sort of tiers. So we have champ birds, par birds, and shit birds where everyone's going to have a fucking chance to win. Even if you've got a fucking shit bird, you can still have a fucking chance to win. You've got a medium bird, you've got a chance to win. We're going to give multiple prizes. So that's what we do at ABC. We just fucking give prizes for shit. So fucking get on the neft and get some of those fucking prizes for yourself. Um, there'll definitely be chicken prizes, um, plus maybe some other ones as well. We could throw some... Uh, um special one-off prizes in there maybe uh founders can compete and we can we can have them um if you beat a founder you get a certain price so get on it i won't tell you again uh i won't beat fucking steel springs brother not on not on not on 120 (laughs) snow fucking like 75 percent show fuck yeah well, I'll tell you what, maybe you will beat 8448 50% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. I'll fucking take that every day of the week. <laughs> yeah, but 50% of the time, it's going to run you off the screen. So oh, I'm happy to give you a couple of wins every now and then, General. That's... Throw me a bone, you reckon? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, that's it for ABC News. we got some quick fire questions, dude. How are uh... We'll, uh, we'll run through them pretty quick and um, there's nothing too hard. It's most, <laughs> it's Don't mostly, think, just answer. Yeah, especially for the last question. Just just answer it as quick as you can. 
Gotcha. <laughs> anyway, mate, we'll roll. <laughs> we'll roll through them. Um, I think people will be interested in a few of these. So, how long have you been in do chickens? Uh, October. October. So you didn't get into any of the mints. No, no. Uh, crazy was minting, but I didn't know about it and didn't have much ETH. I'm not listening to that. Can't he crazy? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they keep coming, General. They fucking keep coming, bro. I fucking hate you so much. <laughs> uh, what's your best bird, dude? Oh, I got a few, but I just bought a Sarama last night. I'm hoping it's uh, the one. Seen that? What? Uh, what is it? Uh, it's a uh, 93 with, uh, oh, what did I say? Growth. Oh yeah. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you can't go wrong with Saramas, man. They're just, I hope not. Any Sarama at this stage is cheap as fuck in my opinion. Uh, which bird do you wish you wish you owned? Uh, to all of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd like a, a black one. Black one, maybe uh, a white beak. Uh, you know, it was a Sarama until last night, but I grabbed one of those. So, if yeah, uh, if you owned all of them, who would you race against? Just, just breed, just breed up an army of uh, tenders, and then sell the tenders, keep all the spices for yourself. Yeah. Uh, do you have a most regretful sale? What's a sale? Have you, like uh, a bird that you <laughs> sold. <laughs> exactly, mate. What's a sale? Yeah. Diamond hands, buddy. Diamond hands. No, uh, I, uh, when I when I won Count Cluckula from Twitter, I put it for sale. And uh, I had a bid, but it was only less than half of what I was getting. And I was asking a good amount. And uh, I said, nah, I won't take that. So, no, I never sold any. Yes, keep them coming. Love yeah. it, love it. Never sell, mate. Never sell. And then you'll never have to look back. Uh, what's your what, What's your best purchase? Oh, I that's right last night. I yeah, guess. the drama. Yeah, I uh, have to agree. Point one four. Yeah, that's cheap. So, what about your worst purchase? Yeah. Do you have a worst um, purchase? I named it. Uh, yeah, I named it Wheelie Bin. Uh, <laughs> I, I love got, it. Uh, I got three third places out of about seventy races. Ooh, that's it's rough. A C class. Yeah, it's C class, and I can't class down to, to D at all. It's like somehow in the middle of C. Oh, that's rough, man. Tournaments, bro. I could race a bird 70 times for that. Oh. Right. Uh, how many times have you said, okay, I have enough chickens now? Not yet. Not yet. Fuck yeah, bro. That's the guy. <laughs> Now's the time to buy. Yeah. Yeah, I just bought uh, and I put another offer on a 97 dork. So we'll see. The high level dorks are cheap at the moment. Super yeah. fucking cheap, like yeah, floor price. Cheap. Yeah, crazy. Ninety-eight unraced orange wheel black comb waddle point oh five one. <laughs> oh man! The one I offered on was unrevealed, so it didn't even have the perfection on there until I uh, refreshed it. Really? Yeah, right. Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Um, so. you just bought a Sarama, but. How much would you pay for a floor Sarama right now? Uh, I'd make them a low ball offer right now. Probably go like 0.1 and hope uh, and pray they accept it and they don't know what they're looking at. The right person would accept that. If if yeah. you got under the right person, they would. Yeah, 100%. Um, is a bit of a different one, non-CD for you. What's your favorite beverage? Favorite beverage? Uh, I really only drink coffee and water, and sometimes some Kool Aid. So, have to Kool-Aid. go with those. I only have a 
a beer a month. So you guys with your weekly thing, I, uh, that's not me anymore. I used to until I had kids, man. <laughs> yeah, kids Wait, I drink more beer since kids. <laughs> <laughs> because you've got three little delivery men <laughs> and, and it makes them more tolerable. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, don't talk nice about your kids at all, Pete. Yeah, Pete, they're never allowed to want to listen to this podcast. Uh-huh. <laughs> and potentially the most important question of the whole lot, mate. Um, oh. Who's got the better moustache, Sambo or the General? Let's show him, General. Let's show him, mate. Me, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Of the two, I'm gonna have to go with the general. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> two one Sambo. Uh, you got two one more. One. You got one more week, mate. Now this is fucking shaving off, and you're fucking dead. So you said, uh, remember when you shaved off the first time? Oh, I'm gonna beat you. Two weeks, I'm gonna beat you still. This has I've been, been four, wo- four weeks I've, now, mate. Four weeks. I've been, I've been working too hard. It hasn't been growing as quick, you know. It grows yeah, quicker yeah. when you relaxing up all of those power yeah. yeah 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 don't have any energy to push those fucking hairs out you know yeah yeah, yeah i know man i get it is uh anything else you want to talk about fellas we want to um we want to run this shit birds and misfits cup but uh what have we missed is there anything anything we've missed we've gone through just about everything yeah let's run it let's go yeah right, i'm all on fairy floss Bro, so, Keno is gonna win. You've already like, actually, fucking I'm watched this, haven't you? You fucking I've watched it. Watched no, it. I, pro- I promise you, I haven't won. I haven't watched it, and I also am not confident that Keno is gonna win it. I just, <laughs> was just talking a bit of smack, you know. More oh, very you smack. Is that two white with candy cone? Which one's fucking yeah. eye? <laughs> They're both the same eyes as well. Yeah, that's a match, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad Pete's not going to own the bird by the end of this year, though. Yeah. Too bad. Oh, yeah. Whoever, whoever, if, you, if you do win it, I have to buy it back because my daughter it's, my daughter named it and she wants to keep it. <laughs> no worries, Pete. 5B. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking not Dingo's. Not fucking Jonah will, though. <laughs> Dingo's in the lead. I'm fucking just in second. Where's Ken Oath right at the back? Wow. Fucking Pete just in front of him there. Oh, man. Oh, was, fucking 80 metres left. Like, on the other green wall and comb. No, nah, mate, you're the one coming last. There's two the same, similar to yours as well, eh? I thought I was, I was like, I've, I've won it again. Uh, fucking Oi. CJ stole my name too. I was going to name a fucking chicken. Look at those days. two candy combs. It goes to show you traits matter because look, they're just running side by side. Yeah, they're even, you yeah. reckon? Can yeah. we really take that from? Yeah, definitely, mate. One race. Wait till you see blue. Wait till you see blue egg or something kick in soon. <laughs> well, hopefully it fucking takes out CJ. Ah, oh, fuck! I'm fucked here. CJ's just taking the lead. Ten meters left. Ten meters left. CJ first. Wow, that last. Oof. Oof. CJ first. Me second. Pete third. Yeah. General fourth. So, Sambo, you know yeah. what that means? What does that mean? Categorically, you are the shittest cop. Yeah, it's a three way tie at the moment. I just come fucking second. Yeah, yeah but only first probably, counts, probably no, Samba. Yeah, I said, you start, I wanted to add up. I had a mark. You said no. Well, you now that my, bird, you now that my bird's a shit bird, I want to change the rules to suit my bird better. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fuck yes. Fucking fuck yes. Uh, that's the end of part one, guys. What a. Uh, is they don't have anything else to talk about. Thanks, fucking dude. Um, we're going to do a part two NFT one here in a sec. Go support our socials. You should do it anyway because you fucking got a good chance to win all those fucking prizes. Twitter, CJ's Twitter, Discord, like, share, comment, YouTube. Fucking go to our go to our link tree. We've got a link tree. If you go to link tree forward slash Aussie Bread Chickens, it'll it'll come up with all our links that you can just attack. Easy as. So uh, that was a fucking another shit end to this fucking podcast, boys. We got to stop running this shit birds and misfits at the end. It's fucking. <laughs> <laughs>
It's fucking yeah, but depressing. If we, run it, if we run it in the beginning and then you lose, it's just going yeah, to Then he's going to suck the whole, yeah. the whole time. Yeah. So. Yeah. Maybe I could just swap it out with see you in MDMT with Steel Springs. Is that fair? Yeah, real fair. Yeah. If you yeah. can get Steel so. Springs to D class when we're going to be running these shit birds, <laughs> I'll allow it. Yeah, fucking no chance of that. It's going to cost me thousands of dollars and fucking a lot of races. I don't even think you'd be able to. No, nah, probably not. Once it hits C class, it'll just dominate everything regardless of its terrain. Yeah. It's- well, uh, that's it, guys. Thanks, General. Thanks, Pete. Thanks, yes. CJ in the back. And a big thanks to fucking Drop Dude. We'll uh, we'll see you on the other side of the break. Cheers. Cheers. Catch Cheers. the cunts. Catch the cunts.